Can you believe that Goku and Vegeta are on the sidelines for once? Chapter 79 of Dragon Ball Super is here, and it's been quite the surprise, so let's waste no time and get right into it. It starts with Alex sipping some fresh wine as he revels in gas becoming the strongest in the universe. He also states that he has one more errand to take care of, so I'm very interested in seeing what he will do, especially because it's been revealed the Granola arc is going to end in the next four chapters. Back at the battlefield, we return to Vegeta telling Granola to eat the Senzu, and once eaten, he goes straight to the aid of Manito, just as the other heaters attack him. Blasting them away grabs the attention of Gas, who sees that Granola is all healed up, and just before they can engage, Manito reunites him with Oatmeal, and after Granola apologizes, he proceeds to power up, turning his other eye red, so I guess this is some sort of new double red-eyed form for him, I guess. But yeah, after he powers up, Gas releases Goku and prepares to face off with Granola. And so the battle between the two strongest in the universe begins. And surprisingly, neither Goku nor Vegeta are involved in it. Gas begins by creating Captain America from Infinity War style shields to use for both attack and defense which comes in handy as Granola comes in using every tactic he's got because he's still slightly weaker so he needs to rely on all his tricks to beat Gas. He starts by proving that Gas's weapon manifestation technique is completely useless as he just overcomes every weapon Gas can throw at him. Manito also confirms that Gas has been able to use the weapons he creates since before he wished to be the strongest so that's not a power the dragon gave him and we find out that Gas is just holding back against Granola because he wants to beat him using his own strength and techniques, not ones given to him by the dragon. But before Granola can land a big blow to his face, Gas activates his true full power and blasts him away. We can see the shame on Gas's face, having to resort to given power to beat Granola, and as Granola blasts him with Key Blast, Gas actually shows the ability to use instant transmission, and punches him hard in the stomach, switching to using the Hakai at close range, but of course, it only destroys his outfit, cause like, you know, plot. Now I gotta say, Granola without the overcoat looks bare drippy like, DAMN! My man's looking fly AF! Anyways, they begin with a flurry of back and forths using instant transmission, but since Gas is new to the move, Vegeta can see that he's using it very sloppily, which is why Granola seems to be overpowering him. Even when Gas gets a hit in, Granola seems very unscathed, which is the exact same advantage Vegeta had against Granola. However, I'm sure the power gap between Granola and Gas is smaller than the gap between Vegeta and Granola when they fought, meaning Granola has a better chance of winning. Overall, this has been a very enjoyable chapter. It was cool to see Vegeta and Goku being the guys reveling in how strong others are while being stuck on the sidelines. I'm curious to see how the fight ends and if we'll actually get a definite winner, because we only have 4 chapters left, so who knows if Granola will truly get to kill Freezer, or if Alex's last move will set up the next arc. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So once again, I appreciate you man taking your time to watch this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and bless.